Hello again, it's Pierre Draculaia, and as promised, the next and what is going to actually end up being the final um, video about our little buddy Miles here, Miles Marov, my uh, half mouse, half rat uh, cartoon character who we've been working on this port acrylic on canvas portrait of for a few days. I've actually been working on it longer, but uh, you know, a few days since I decided to start filming. Now, when we left off in the last video, I had some of the background done with this kind of paint pen texture. I'm going to zoom in because I don't know how much of it shows up. But uh, I could tell it was going to be tedious, and even though I did blather on with, you know, talk about the importance of hanging out at your local county or um, state fair and all that sort of stuff. I realized, I mean, that video was an hour and I only got a little bit into it. So I called it a night and said I was going to go finish off this texture over the whole canvas, which I did. And I said, well, I'll come back and we'll work on paint pens on Miles himself. Just one problem. When I got this all done, I was kind of going, you know what? I like that texture. I also like it not on Miles. So I think it helps sort of drive the background further back. And if we pan down to his little podium here, it helps kind of separate that out from him as a figure. Um, and I haven't thought, well, I'm going to sleep on it. And well, I have slept on it. And I decided we're not going to do any paint pen on Miles, other than I did touch up his whiskers with uh, some paint pens. Um, let me zoom in there. Just because there were a couple spots where they'd gotten a little messed up with, you know, the background painting around them. Probably because I probably should have done them as the very last step, as opposed to putting them in early enough. Um... So anyways, that means we are done. Because um, I, like I said, I thought about it. I hemmed and hawed. Should I put in outlines on his jacket? I just kind of thought, you know what? I think I like it as it is now. So the only thing left to do is sign it. Um, which kind of brings up a bit of a di dilemma. Uh, because historically, I have always signed paintings. Make it sound like there's hundreds and hundreds of them. But for the last... Uh, 25 years, whenever I've painted, I have signed them with a version of my tattoo, which actually the tattoo's only 19 years old, but I had the logo before that, and that is, I can't quite get it in angle, but that's the original, my old industrial music project was called Maclu and I started kind of using that uh, name which is uh, you know Babylonian black magic uh, from the Necronomicon you know which by the way if anyone's curious the Simon Necronomicon is a fraud um, it's like I guess they call it more of a hoax although they do kind of pretend that it's real so it's kind of a fraud kind of a hoax but Anyways, um, it is absolute be bullshit. But uh, as a dumb teenager, I didn't know that. <laughs> and I thought it was really, really cool. So uh, the MacLu text, there is an actual thing called the MacLu text. It is a, um, I don't think it's old enough to be Sumerian. I think it's Akkadian, like one of the later periods of Babylonian history. It's uh, a book of banishings and bindings. So uh, a German guy named Talkfist, um wrote a paper on it in like the 1890s or something. So that text is a real thing. Um, but anyways, I started using the name Maclu. That's the name of my old industrial project. I don't use it anymore. But having been through laser tattoo removal, I uh, on my upper arms and then cover-ups, I ain't doing anything to this tattoo because that would swell up like crazy and be excruciatingly painful uh, if I decided to go get it zapped, so I'm fine with that. But anyways, my point is, I used to always 
sign my paintings by drawing on that little kind of flame cue with an exclamation mark sign. Here's the thing. I don't work under the name Maclu anymore. That project is de dead in the water. I haven't, the last Maclu album I put out was Divisive in 2015, so almost 10 years ago. And honestly, my current debate is whether I just pull all that old industrial down off of, you know, I think you have to write to uh, or email uh, customer service from CD Baby to tell them you want uh, your shit removed. And they'll do it, but it takes like a month or whatever. Uh, half of me is debating yanking that stuff. I haven't updated the MacLu. I think I did up do a New Year's update on MacLu.com this year, which basically I think it said, Hi, why are you still here <laughs> if you're reading this? <laughs> Anyways, point is, I don't know if I would... Not that the symbol really matters with the name, because it's a separate thing, but... I know they're tied, I don't use the name anymore. Anyways, blah, 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 blah. I'm kind of going, how am I going to sign this little dude? When I sign my cartoons on, uh, for Noah's Archipelago, which it's a digital cartoon, so, um, hey, Pira, when you're editing this, slap in a Noah's Archipelago, um, as an overlay so people can see what I'm talking about. I just simply write it. It's like, uh, IG, at Noah's Archipelago, then dash, by Pura Draculaea, and I just print my name, along with the URLs, and then actual, like, Noah's Archipelago.com and the date. It's how I signed those cartoons for Miles. And actually, you know what? I am going to pause this right now so I can run and grab um, the book that I do the uh, Ricky B. Rat cartoons in rather than uh, embed them, so hang on. And we're back. I, it's actually a good thing I ran down uh, to the other room to grab this book because I realized I'm talking about last time's video. It's not actually posted yet. It is still exporting from iMovie as we speak. This one will obviously post tomorrow, right? Uh, <laughs> but the computer had gone to sleep in the middle of processing. It's like, ah! Anyways. Um, so I'm going to be quick because i got to babysit that. Uh, so how I signed the cartoons. This is actually, this is the cartoon that involves the original sketch of this poster. Um, but you can see I just write my name in the, the year. Um, so I think it's time I start doing that with my actual paintings. Um, especially when they're of the same cartoon characters just for, you know, consistency. So let's do that. And it's kind of going, what color am I going to sign them with? I'm starting to sound like Ricky. I've been upset. I've been, my entire day has been about not this particular rat, but the other one, Ricky. <laughs> because I think I mentioned it again in the video that is not posted yet, it is still being bounced out of um, iMovie. I talked about, oh, I've got the script, I have to record the podcast. Um, I had issues with one of my microphones, so I had recorded it yesterday morning and it was all screwed up. So I had to redo it this morning. So if I start sounding like this, that's because this is what Ricky B. Rat t sounds like. I don't know why, because the other rats in Ratsfield don't sound like this, really. Including his own sister so much, but anyways, um, for whatever reason, Ricky just wanted to be a good old southern boy. Um, <laughs> so that's what he's become. Uh, anyways, uh, so, where was I going with this? Do, 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 do. Come on, brain. Come on, brain. Uh, and anyway, my brain is fried, uh, because it's, it's been fried by mice. Uh, maybe, perhaps there's some rat poison going around. I don't know. Anyways, um, it's debating where I'm going to sign this and in what color. Part of me kind of wants to sign it under the edge of his tail, but uh, even with a paint marker, that might be kind of small, uh, too small of a space. So, do do where can we stick this? And part of me, I am, I am very strongly considering doing it in blue, because that'll pick up on um, 
the color and the shadow of his suit, but where do we want to put it? Because, uh, I mean, in a cartoon, I would do it probably somewhere along his tail or along the side of his podium. That might be a little too in your face in the middle of the drawing if I do it on his tail. I uh, could do it under his armpit here, too. Um, of course, with cartooning, it's, you know, not that I think I have any, not that I definitely don't have the reach to really care about this, but, you know, in terms of someone taking your work and, like, cropping your name out of it. So that's part of the reason why some of us sign in the middle of the work. Um, but it's not really necessary to do that on a canvas, right? But I just, I'm kind of liking the idea of putting it right in underneath there. So let's do that. Let us zoom in. There we go. And I will try and not have my body in front of the camera because then that would be kind of useless, right? So let me pull over the new chair that hopefully won't escape from me. There, it is done. They're gonna hate me for that at the Cowichan exhibition. <laughs> Cause of course the judging is done blind, which means that they don't wanna see your name on it. I mean, you do sign, but you, they'll probably just put a sticky note over top of it, I imagine. Uh, but normally you, um, what they do is they want you to sign it in the corner and then they like tape your entry tags over your signature while it's being judged. So this is gonna annoy the shit out of whoever is setting that up. Sorry, Beverly. I think it's Beverly who handles that. Um, but it kind of fits in. Um, it kind of also, it blends in both as, if it's part of his uh, uh, sleeve, but also kind of falls into the background. So there we go. Miles is done. Let's zoom in and I will talk and I'll just go quick. Because a lot of this obviously is the same. So we've got the texture up. At, Starting on the top with the uh, cheese flags, we've got acrylic, I mean, it's all acrylic paint. Uh, as I mentioned, the very first layer um, was a very thin down wash that was blue, turquoise, and purple, so we do see, see that poking through in some spots. And then some layers around, um, and you can see the paint pen detailing on top. And then we get it over here to his widow ears. So cute. And kind of looking more of a bluish pink than they actually do. Um, that might be the lighting. Um, and we've got his sweat back here and all that. So bring out just a little so we can see the edge. And then we sweep down here again, the circles and the dots. Starting to see the edge of Miles's jacket. And then we've got um, his podium with, you know, the flat green underneath. That's not really that flat when you see it. It's a little more dimensional because I deliberately made it messy. And then we've got the lettering in uh, originally some pink paint pen and then with a very fine brush with yellow paint and then green paint pen on top. Got that kind of triangle detail in the back. I don't know how much the, letter, the gold on top kind of shows up. It kind of in person matches the yellow in the flag a little better than actually gold. But from some angles you can tell there's just a wee bit of shimmer. We've got more paint pen dealing, detailing, not dealing. Well, he does deal in something. Corruption, apparently. <laughs> and brags about it. And running for city council in Ratsville. So yeah, corruption, you, 
emphasis on you can trust and the dollar bill sign and we still have I can still hear the fly buzzing around in here one of his buddies wised up and actually flew out the open window this one isn't that smart though anyways so we're back to the background another edge of his other arm and the little pink tail now in the cartoons I tend to draw horizontal lines to make it kind of look segmented but I'm not sure how accurate that is um, some of the rat and mice pics I've seen it looks like that but when you look closer it's just really short hairs that are in rows so the hairs kind of make it look like there's a segmentation but anyways and we get Miles' eyes and Will Whiskers and that sulking pouting little brat face although he's a little old to be a brat he's in his late 20s he's 28 the brand new signature and we already saw that part of the sign up and through his tie which is kind of it's definitely getting that uh, it looks like a tie like an actual shaped tie not just like a flat outline of a tie this microphone is a little cheese wedge pin back up to his wheel ears shoulder jacket base of his tail that kind of is a little hid and there we go so vote for miles folks corruption you can trust this of course only applies if you're a registered voter in Ratsville so that you can vote for city council although I guess if you can cheat and get away with it I mean that's corruption so he can't really complain right especially if you're voting for him now if you vote for his competitor well then he's gonna hate you um, anyways so Hope you've enjoyed this little series, and as I said, there will be more to come. we got to do a portrait of his buddy, Ricky, um, and that will probably be the next one, um, as I've described in a couple of videos. And then we're going to have to uh, do a portrait of my other cartoon character, Noah, from, Noah Thorson from Noah's Archipelago, because otherwise Noah will get very, very jealous. Um, anyways... That, finally, because I think I said that's it for this week's, or not this week's, like today's video. I've been doing multiple of these this week, but it might be a week until the next one. Uh, but anyways, hope you've enjoyed this little series, and we will catch you next time. Bye.